what's going on this is Antone and yesterday I received this in the mail and I'm so excited I've already opened the box because I wanted to make sure I knew what it was and a couple of people actually asked about this particular drone and it is of course the Holy Stone HS600 and I'm really excited about this particular drone because of the fact that it is a 4k drone of course greater than 249 grams that actually has built-in remote ID. So that makes Holy Stone one of the few other companies that was actually putting remote ID in some of their drones. And this is a 4K drone. I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to getting out and flying it. But because I just received this, I really wanted to let you know that I received it, first of all. And second, we're going to go into the box real quick. And I'm just going to give you my first impressions opening this box up. And what I think of the drone. Got my trusty little knife here. I actually already have... Um, the Holy Stone, and you've probably seen them, the 720, 720G, and the 720R series drones. All of them are fantastic drones, but this one, um, and of course they're all over 249 grams. I absolutely love the camera on them. They're all 4K and they take phenomenal photo and video. And so I really am looking forward to this one because even though I do have the Holy Stone Remote ID module, I like the idea that this one doesn't require it. It has it built in, which means that this most likely will be a drone that I use if the camera is as good as the Force, uh, the 720R, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be. This is going to be one that I will use also for commercial purposes. So let's get this guy out of the box. Okay, so this is what the case actually looks like. Now, this case does remind me of another brand's case. First thing on the top is we have what looks to see it looks to be a full set of replacement props. You got your manual. Always read through your manual. We're going to be digging into the manual a little bit myself and make sure that I'm familiar. So we have Velcro on the top here, a nice little Velcro tab, and it looks like we have a. Okay, we have a pocket back here. And what's in here? Oh my goodness. Is this what I think it is? Oh my goodness. This guy even comes with a landing pad. What? This even comes with a landing pad in the box. I have two or three landing pads that I usually carry one out with me when I'm going to fly. This one actually comes with a very good size landing pad in the box. I mean, in the in the case. It's got a spot for it in the case. This is phenomenal. Now, it's weighted. I, I know the style of landing pad this is. It does actually have some weight to it. And this is really, really good. Hopefully, you're getting some information from this unboxing that you might not get in other places. We're going to slide that back in there, but it, it, I mean, it, and it comes in its own little bag. So it's weighted, and so you don't have to worry about wind blowing this thing away. And it's nice, and, uh, and it's also waterproof. It's like a PVC style or type material, so it's also waterproof. So this divider on the top. And underneath there is the drone. And here you have the drone with the, the props installed. And what is interesting to me, I guess the battery is what's going to get, give weight to this guy because the drone itself is pretty pretty light. And we're going to take a, a, a little bit closer look at this drone in just a second. We want to see what else is in, in the case here. We have a box here, which looks to be a battery. And we got our controller in the bottom. So... Nice little, another divider. A divider here that folds in. And then we have, oh my goodness, three batteries. So we've got three batteries. So we're going to get a chance to fly this thing for a very long time. That is absolutely phenomenal as well. So you got a spot for two, uh, three batteries here and then your controller. So everything in the box that you need to fly, it comes with everything you need to fly. So you got your controller here and it has a phone holder at the top. Um, it's a very similar controller to one of Holy Stone's other drones. And your antennas are here on the top. I was looking here to see 
they are actual functioning antennas. So they do have a, a antenna wire in, in both of them. So there's two actual functioning antennas, which should give you plenty of range. You got your phone slash device holder here just wrapped up. And so it should extend on the top after you take this wrapping off. Um, it will extend so that you can put your device in here, flipping the bottom open. You have, of course, and these, these arms on the bottom are, are pretty tight. USB-C connection on the bottom for you to do your, uh, to charge up your controller. We're going to be charging this controller up, and this week we're going to take this guy out to fly him at the lake. So we're going to get some really good video and photo of how this guy works very, very soon. With the 720 series, you basically store uh, the battery, or at least one of the batteries, in the drone. There's a spacer there to keep the battery from making contact with the contacts, so it's not actually installed on the drone. But I personally prefer a situation like this where the battery is actually stored separate. And so here's our modular battery. Also USB-C connection on the side, so you can charge this away from the drone which is also a plus you do not have to install in the drone like some drones you might have to install the battery in the drone in order to be able to charge them this you can use your charging cable directly to the battery and be able to charge it again you got your charging cable and now if we sit this to the side and take a look at the drone you have a nice little arm holder for the top here and then you can fold out your arms, and it actually doesn't matter whether you fold your front arms out or your, your back arms out first. Either way, they don't interfere with each other. But you do have these nice little landing legs on the front arms, so you'll want to make sure you fold those out and fold them back in before you, uh, before you put it back in the case or before you fold it up. Your SD card slot is here on the bottom. It also has landing lights and LED lights on all four arms, which is, which is also fantastic. So you can actually get a status from the LED lights, no matter what angle it is that you're looking at the drone. And there's our two axis gimbal. So it will stabilize your horizon and your camera angle. And then your yaw or rotation, it will actually use in body, uh, in camera stabilization for that to stabilize that. I am super excited about flying the Holystone HS600 4K GPS drone with a gimbal with built-in remote ID. I'm looking forward to taking this guy out and flying him and having fun with him. Thanks so much for checking this out with me. I plan on coming back and sharing a whole lot more with you very soon. Take care and I'll talk to you then.